All right, quick update. It's been a while since the last video, which I apologize for, but uh, I picked the wrong time to um, start a new Silent Hunter 3 campaign, really, because March and April are always busy for me at work with tax year, end of tax year, and um, lots of overtime going on. But anyway, we're here out to the west of Ireland, heading towards our patrol grid. AL36, is that right? That's right. So uh, yeah, we had a storm that lasted for about three or four days, but uh, weather is now very calm, which is good. Let's see, it's morning on um, January the 8th, and we're just rolling along. What's this? Is that a periscope? What's that? That's the attack scope, or oh, the observation scope. That's the attack scope. What is this thing? I don't know. Uh, let's see if... Is this just like an antenna? I've never noticed this before. Someone will know, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, come back if I have an update for you. Oh, I was just reading a book there about Napoleon's invasion of Russia in 1812 and we've got a convoy report coming straight for me here and I think I'll be a fool to pass this opportunity up so let's do it uh, we'll head over to their projected course wait once we get there may as well get rid of that that should do not ideal since it's daytime but um, let's go to periscope depth let's see everybody you guys in here because it's less less tiring to be in the electric and actually in fact I'll put the watch officer in here to have a kip um, everybody else is okay. All right. Um, and now it's just a case of waiting. They're going slow, so probably around like six knots. How far away are they? 125 kilometers. Uh, let's see if I remember how to use this. So six knots approximately. 120 five kilometers you're looking at off the charts but you're looking at over two hours so I will uh, sit here actually I don't think my my air is not gonna hold out for two hours I'll probably come to the service and recharge my air and, and everything and I'll come back if we manage to spot anything on the old hydroma phone okay well it's several hours later it's now past midnight or in local time about half past eleven. We do have a sound contact finally. Um, warship. One thing I'm concerned about though is that I can't use the hydrophone. I don't know why that is. Some kind of mod problem perhaps, but um, I can't use the hydrophone. So I have to rely on my AI officers to to do that. Um, oxygen's at twenty percent. We should have a oxygen for another hour or so at least. Let's try and uh, see if these guys come any closer. Oh, now he's gone. He may have been going forward on a little kind of... Uh, oh, here we go, he's a merchant. And another one. So we're right in the path of these guys. So 
looks like a big convoy. Uh, should I maybe reverse a bit? Let's see. This is the outermost one, and he's going to be basically right on us. I think reversing a bit might be a good idea. I will... Oh. What was I going to do? Oh, here we go. I will also order... Schleichfahrt! The officer's still aren't talking. I forgot about that, so I'll have to look at that again, if I remember. Uh, let's see, do we have any... view? yet. They are around about, yeah they're out of visual range. Okay let's let them come a little bit closer. In fact I think I'll just cut here because I'm just going to be sitting here waiting for them to approach. So I'll uh, cut for a couple of minutes and come back when uh, they're a little bit closer and we can see what we have. I think they might have changed direction. They have, they're heading north, god damn it. Mm. Still pretty far away. We should be able to surface and uh, get after them. I don't think we're in visual range at the moment. Surface the boat. It's like they've turned northwards or north westward, westwards, which is a bit odd. Okay, now it's a case of cat and mouse as I try and get in front of these boys. May as well go back to full unsilent running. Um, yeah, so I will attempt to outflank them and I'll come back shortly. Right, I've managed to find a warship. I'm just going to get my Origin Man send out a contact report. How far are we away? Very close. Why are we so close? Well, the conditions aren't that bad. We're only three kilometers away. That's insane. Please get on before he spots us. Okay, this could be bad. He's coming in our general direction, but he was doing that when we but he first spotted us. We didn't have any shots, so he hasn't started shooting. We may have gotten away with it. But that's kind of annoying. Alright, well let's aim... Just away towards the convoy and also pull our noses to his face, so to speak. So it's harder if he has Aztec to pick me up. Okay, let's risk looking out on the scope. or something there, but apparently not. Ok, 
Okay, there's the escort, and he's not looking at us, which is good. Or po pointing towards us, at least. Yeah, okay, we're pretty safe. And then we have all the merchants out here. Who are too far away to see, it seems. Let's uh, speed things up a bit. We should be fairly close to their path, actually. This is like the, the outlying one here. Uh, it'd be nice to get a little bit closer. We should be out of hydrophone range. I think of these destroyers. I think some for some reason I've seemed to believe the hydrophone range is only well, we're pretty we're fairly close actually. I'll go back to slow speed. Speed things up a tad. Looks like we can't go above thirty two. Which is not not very good because um 32 is the maximum speed at which your crew will still get tired. If you go above that, the crew don't really actually get tired. But that obviously means that my men are going to get very tired very quickly. Uh, anyway. Okay, there's one. There is... what is that? A merchant? Small merchant, I think. That looks like it's like a large or maybe a medium. Oh, hello. Let me open these dudes. And that's it. So this is the, the closest rank. Now, let's see if my... Identification skills are up to par. Probably not. This is probably just like a medium. Merchant, I think, from memory. Or is it a large one? This might be a large merchant, actually. Yeah, that's the medium cargo. That's a large one. That is a nice juicy target actually. I think I shall uh, try to attack him. There he is, large merchant. Let's lock him in. I haven't really seen what else is available. There's that little thing which I'm not going to bother with. This is hard to see with the attack scope, but I think it might be mm, those guys getting close. I'm just going to go with this guy. It's my first attack of the career. Let's just take it easy, take our first shot. It's a nice 10,000 tonner. Uh, oh god, now I've got to relearn this. So, count the number of vertical marks. Uh, two, one, two, three. Three is that? One, two, three. I think it's about three and a half. So we'll take three and a half here on the inner dial. Check the mast height. Twenty-five point four. Twenty-five point four is around there. So that's about two thousand five hundred meters, like so. Line up the range dial with the ship length. Ship length is 156. 156 is like. Is that right? No, it's more like this, I think. 156. Uh, count the number of horizontal marks. That's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, I think. Marks on the mid in the dial, 18. 15, 16, 17, 18, so that's about 56, 57 degrees. 
this direction I think like so and finally the speed we're moving that's not good that's not going to help with the speed okay let's slow down a bit And for some reason we're turning. Why? Don't do that. Oh, it's because of this. God damn it. One knot. Mm. Is that him? I don't think that's him. That's him. That's something else. But I can shoot at that as well. Okay. Uh, right, let's start again because that turning will have cocked up my uh, my readings here, I think. Uh, let's try and get near to the waterline, which is going to be something like that. Alright, number of vertical marks. Here we go. Three... And a little bit, three and a little, little bit. So three, a little bit there. Uh, check the mast height, 25.4. That is further away for some reason this time. Well, we have gone backwards, haven't we? So that's probably makes a bit of sense. So we'll do that. Uh, line of range dial with the ship length on five six, like so. Number of horizontal marks is 22. Which is over the scale, which means it's kind of going to be something like this probably. And we're now doing zero knots, so we can check the speed. Boop. Now we wait. Lower the scope a little bit to be a little stealthy and sneaky. Can use our type ones as well since it's night time. Should we go with magnetics? I'm afraid. I might do one magnetic and one impact. Draft is 10.1, so we'll do uh, 11. there and now okay good 52 52 seconds line up the time on the mid outer dial 52 with the ship length 156 like so speed is showing the red mark six knots that's what I thought it would be. So that's what we'll go with. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh... No, there was that other ship, wasn't it? I was going to fire at nine. All right, the two type twos are going for this bad boy, and then I'm going to send the type ones over to. The this gentleman at the end. I think I need to fire these tight ones now, otherwise hmm, they may all hit because they're in the same line. They may all hit this guy. Oh, I'm, I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Uh, what do we have there? Something small. This guy is getting very close. That's not really very good. Yeah, I'm going to wait until the large motion has passed in front of me. And then I should hopefully get a shot on the one that's behind him. So 
so we'll skip time a little bit. Oh god. Hopefully I'm not about to get rammed. Oh god. <laughs> 